This is Hannibal here from the HannibalTV.com. There is no wrestling news that's interesting today, but my friend Mike, who runs Billy Graham's Facebook page for the Superstar and is a big arm wrestling fan, pointed out to me that Devin Larratt, who actually lives about 45 minutes away from me, and I've interviewed him three times, the links to those interviews are in the description, is going to be boxing Thor in Dubai in five weeks on September 18th. He has taken this fight on five weeks' notice. He's replacing, I guess, another strongman competitor that was supposed to fight him. And then I guess they looked into Marius Pujanovsky fighting Thor, but that didn't work out for whatever reason. He's injured or something. So of all people, it's going to be Devin Larratt, who has no boxing experience, but he's a multiple-time world arm wrestling champion. He's former Canadian Special Forces. He may or may not have killed people on his various tours of duty. He's highly competitive, and he has actually arm wrestled Thor before in a small town around here. Um, I don't know how many years ago it was exactly, somewhere between maybe around five years ago, six years ago, there was a man show in like a small town around here, and Devin was there for his autograph fame, and then they flew in Thor from his game of... I forget what the show's called, Game of Thorns or Game of Thrones, one of the two names. But he was there, and somehow they ended up arm wrestling, and and Devin just spanked them in an arm wrestling match. And to be honest with you, I think Devin will beat him in a boxing match, even though this Thor guy, I guess, has been preparing for this fight for like a year, and Devin is a five-week-out replacement my money would be on Devin. He's uh, training with Faraz as uh, a hobby at TriStar in Montreal. Uh, he's leave. He's just started his training. Like he just found out he got this fight. So I guess he's either in Montreal now or on his way to Montreal, where he's going to prepare for about a week. Then he's going to Dubai, where I guess the rest of his training. Uh, will take place in Dubai. I can only imagine, since it is in the Middle East, that he probably is making a huge sum of money for this. I, wa I watched uh, some strongman uh, people talking about this. Like, and They're just saying, like, why are these guys doing this? This doesn't do anything for their careers. Well, these fights in the Middle East pay massive money. WWE, for their super shows that they do in Saudi Arabia, get like $40 million a show. So this is going to be huge money for Devin for doing this. And my money would be on him. And by the way, if you want me to drive out to Montreal and spar with you, uh, I'm sure there's better sparring partners at TriStar. But if you need a big guy... To spar with you to help prepare i'll be happy to do it and uh, i'll try and hopefully get devin on here to talk to me about it but check out my three interviews with them in the description of this video great guy very good guy and yeah this is going to be a very interesting fight there's some wrestling questions so i'll get i'll just touch on a few of them Todd would rather see Marius fight Thor. He's injured. That's why they're going with Devin. Victor Murphy says money. Yeah, exactly. It's all going to be about money. As a kid, did I see the show Fraggle Rock? <laughs> David, yes, I did. And uh, by the way, uh, the Blood Hunter is going to be coming to Florida by the way, October the 23rd. 
for CWF, managed by Kevin Sullivan, who's also managing him the night before in LA. I did do an interview with Kevin Sullivan today, the taskmaster himself, that he actually took a piss while doing the interview with me, which was hilarious at a first for me. But uh, I highly suggest people check out that interview with Kevin Sullivan that I did earlier today. Have a great night. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a 